I just wanted to come on and do a quick clip and say that I've got a special YouTube giveaway planned for you guys. If you watch till the end, you'll be able to find out how to enter to win a mystery stationery bundle of the new products I've released. So this is in celebration of that. So yeah, keep watching and you'll find out. <sighs> it's been a while since I picked up the camera. I suppose I had a little break. I didn't have a break, but I had a break from YouTube and filming, I suppose. I feel a little rusty. Like, I don't know what to say, even though I do. I want to update you on where we're at, because I've been so busy, but I haven't filmed. I've just been getting work done, getting my head down. That's the phrase I'm looking for. <laughs> getting my head down, doing lots of design work on my iPad, which I don't really find very filmable. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more like drawing and designing and things. Um, I just never find that very filmable and I just kind of want to get it done. Well, with, oh, my cat's thingy in the tripod. Hello, come here. Stop moving it, come here. <laughs> it keeps moving it. Um, this summer shop update has taken me a long time to do. I have learned a lot. Um, obviously I'm still new to this. I'm still in the first year of doing Swirly Nicks as it is today. And I feel like I've learned a lot about my workload and what I can actually take on because I get so excited about what I want to design and what I want to do that I'm just kind of like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then I write the list. And then I made the mistake of starting everything but not finishing everything and going back and forth just because that's how I wanted to do it. But that ended up being a mistake because by the last few weeks, I, it's been a scramble to get everything finished and completed and test printed and checking the qualities right and just getting everything done. On top of changing my logo and my branding, just I've just kind of tweaked it it's not like a huge overhaul but it's something I wanted to do for a while so I thought I would do that as well which was kind of a mistake but it's done now Um, you've probably seen the old logo on the intro to this Um, but it's on my to-do list to change I just don't know what I want to do yet I animated that myself in Procreate but I don't know I don't know how I want to do it next time for my new logo but I'll I'll have a think about that so for this vlog, I just wanted to document the summer shop update, which is my biggest update yet, biggest collection I've ever done. And we've got new branding, we've got not just a new website, but my first ever shop outside of Etsy. So I've been working on that behind the scenes as well. I don't find that very filmable, you know, like I'm just kind of sitting on Shopify, tweaking, adding things. I started from the ground up because I'm migrating from Wix just seemed like it was going to be more of a headache so I just started from scratch and learned it all Um, I don't mind learning new things I mean I just started learning how to crochet in fact I love learning new things but at the same time it's very time consuming so I had to sit and concentrate and get that done Um, but the Shopify is pretty much done I just need the product photos it's password protected I'm migrating my domain name over from Wix so that's kind of done my Etsy listings are ready to go and they're going to be synced across because I need to keep Etsy open for anyone who wants to use Etsy instead but mainly for international customers and anyone who comes from Etsy directly not that I get many of those but that's kind of where I'm at on that side of things so that's going to be launching really soon which you'll see I'll show you bits in this vlog as we go because we're just starting this I'm, I'm just sort of slowly getting back into it and I did. I was gonna sit and show you some of the artwork that I've got that's getting printed as we speak for the update, but I thought, no, I'm gonna show you everything as it arrives. We're gonna open things together. 
and see what they look like so stay tuned for that and um, that will be later on in the video so I've ordered from four different manufacturers and I have put a lot into this update like financial financially and my soul spiritually <laughs> and I feel a bit scared now I feel a bit because my orders have really died down over the past couple of months I haven't been tracking them on my trackers and um, to be honest I, I've been so busy in my personal life some things just went some things just fell off the priority list so like YouTube did tracking my orders did but I think I got about 20 for June and I've had definitely less than 10 for July it gotta be less than 10 maybe less than five so it's really up and down like I was getting 50 plus a month at the start of the year but I know people are waiting for the update so I'm aware of that um, and in the last update I had less than I had definitely had less than 2,000 followers on Instagram because you're talking it was Easter it was it was March late March to April and now I'm over 3,000 on Instagram so my, I think my followers have maybe doubled so I'm hoping that more eyes will be on this shop update more eyes on my products and my art and I'm really excited but hello 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 who would like to say hi hi <laughs> hello what are you doing do you want to say hi do you want to say hi to the camera no <laughs> no you just want your mama don't you you just want mama don't you kiss me I can't even remember what I was saying now I'm totally rusty with this products are sent off I've got stickers I've got notepads that I've never done before notepads which I hope will turn out okay I'm really scared for the notepads um, I've also got art prints bookmarks I've got lots and I needed new thank you cards I ran out of thank you cards as well at the same time that wasn't planned so I did some a new it be collectible card number three so make sure you get that in your order um we are going to do some promotional photos and stuff like that so i need some new photos for my website i need to up, not just update ones i've got but there's some i haven't got that i need to take pictures of but i thought i would start the vlog get into it and i'll show you products as they come and we'll go through this launch together so i have got a few things here that i need to open so i did open this earlier because i was too excited but my new stamp arrived for my packages and i got it made a bit bigger and it's, it's my new logo so there's my stamp i got that from get stamped and then i also have a hobby craft order the only thing i'm making in the studio for this update is my glitter stickers so i've got two new designs hang on there's a lot of packaging here right so i ordered glitter paper because this is the only thing i'm making in the studio this time i'm making glitter stickers the main reason i'm getting things done externally now is because i don't have time to make everything and also the quality is really good so we've got glitter sticker paper there cat here again this cat follows me around the house don't you and then i got a discount so this was basically free so i was like right i'm just gonna get this oh my god it's so chunky it's huge i didn't realize it was gonna be this big but i got some white chunky yarn but i thought it was size six. Oh my god i don't know what to do with this but it is huge compared to my other yarns like it's so thick right i'm gonna tidy all this up now <laughs> shop update are here we're gonna open them i'm so scared oh my gosh oh it's so cute these are wrong so i'm gonna have to email the manufacturer about that
So I've been organising my new bookmarks and put them with my old ones. Um, I really need a better storage system now that things are building up, but I don't know what to do yet. I'm still thinking about it, but for now they're just laid out here. We've got the Purple Moons bookmark and they've got the pattern on the back and just the logo in the bottom there. And then we've got the Dark Moons one. I love this one. It's so pretty. But these are all going to have tassels as well. So there's the coffee shop one, which matches the coffee shop sticker sheet. And then there's the uh, Buzz and Bumble one, which I love. I would have loved to have got more designs done, like my rainbow Buzz and Bumble, but your girl doesn't have the money for all of the things, unfortunately. But if I do really well in this update, I'll be sure to get the popular ones done. Uh, these are the old moth ones. Here's a new mermaid one. That will match the sticker sheet of the classic mermaid one. It's so pretty. Here are the new art prints. Um, there should be four. Here is the fourth, but this is wrong. This is zoomed in, and I don't know why. I've contacted the manufacturer. Um, they'll sort it out for me, hopefully quickly. The back is actually fine. So the art, you can see through the back of the postcard with the vintage stamp there and it's so you can either put them on your wall or you can send them to friends with nice notes on the back like little letter cards which I love um, but yeah the, the back is actually the art but then they zoomed it in on the front they cut off loads but I don't know why they did that so they'll go in the seconds pile and I'll wait for the new ones but these are perfect so we have the sunflower skull with it on the back we have the plant skull on the back again and we have the name of the piece and the year it was made made lovely art prints or postcards and we have this is actually from mermaid but I only just got it finished for this update and this is called last blossom so it's the mermaid watching the last of the blossoms fall into the into the river she's pretty let's see if I can zoom in so yeah that was my uh my mermaid artwork that I got done. So those are going to be the four postcards and I've got stickers coming of these two as well. listening to Hollow Knight music. I love listening to Hollow Knight music. I did um, a test run of the new freebies I designed. So these come in every order, little sticker sheet samples. I really love them. They've come out really nice and vibrant but I've got a few cut issues within the plant here. You won't be able to see it. And I'm just going to tweak some of the colours a bit but look how nice they are. Look how pretty they are. So yeah, everyone will receive one of these in their orders and you don't know which colour you're going to get, which is the fun part. I'm currently in the middle of photography. I've started with the new bookmarks in the new packaging. Um, each one comes with a black tassel and I've just got a little set of going in front of the window and I'm just doing some different shots with like a book in the packaging, the back of it, things like that and I'm just kind of editing as I go. I've got to go to the hospital in a few hours so I'm going to have lunch soon. As long as I get these bookmarks done I'll be happy and I'm just doing like chunks at a time because I've got like 21 products to do.
it's the day before the shop update. Um, I was at my sister's wedding on Thursday, so I couldn't get anything done towards the end of the week, but I'm in on the weekend today to get the rest done. And the new art prints arrived that are actually cut right this time. And we've got the postcard back with the name of the artwork and the little retro stamp on there. So I'm really happy with them now. So I'm doing the product photography for those. Also, the new transparent stickers arrived. So I'm gonna do the product photography for these as well. So we've got the sunflower skull and the plant skull. And I'm happy with how these have turned out. I need to count them. And I've got some glitter ones here that I've made. And I've got the new backing cards. I can't remember if I've already spoken about this, but I've got the new backing cards for them. And the new notepads arrived. Oh my god, I'm so excited. And it's so nice to see them on the shelf here. I've got the planner pad here, which is the mushroom one. You've got like a to-do list in the top. Uh, the date, you've got like feeling with little mushroom emotes there. So you can settle which one you feel like to do. And then you've got like gratitude notes and things like that. So that's the little planner pad. It's like an A5 square size. And then you've got the blank notepad as well if you're not as much of a planner person so they've turned out really nice and the designs look they're not as vibrant as they would have been because i got them printed on like a, a recycled paper which i'm really happy with because obviously eco-friendly so i've got those there i just need to do the belly bands for them which i'm still figuring out and i'm doing them myself um, i do most of the packaging myself so i'm gonna get on with the photography A little trick I learned um, when you're doing photography of stickers. Can you see? Oh, there's the door. Right, I can't remember where I was, but the door went. But anyway, I think I was showing these. The angle of the stickers is really good. I'm just using like an old makeup bottle I found because it's a really good balance. And then you get like the focus of the sticker. Hang on. The glitter's messing things up get the focus of the sticker on the top and it kind of floats I just love that so there's a little tip if you're selling like small items and you can balance them on something and it, it makes a really nice professional photo so I finally got the belly bands right it took a long time to get these right um, they're good enough it's packaging you can't spend forever on packaging even though it is important to get your branding right and um, don't spend too much time on it as long as it fits in it's eco-friendly mine is uh, which i'm really happy about so we've got the notepad the planner pad and i'm just doing the photography for the bundle of them because you can buy these separately and i did my bands here so i need to print and cut some more of those it takes a bit of time but it's worth it because i think belly bands are quite expensive to get externally printed so for now i'd rather do them in house and i'm really happy with it let me know what you think hello so it's the next day since i spoke to you um it's sunday it's the day of the shop update it's actually happening in like half an hour i'm just printing off some more belly bands for the notepads and i'm just going to make like a little bit more packaging i've got all the products ready i think the website's ready I'm really nervous, uh, I think because I'm scared of the website, something going wrong. Um, I don't know how many people is going to be on. I've got like three times as many Instagram followers as I did on the last show update. That scares me a bit, but also it might not make any difference to be honest. So I've got, I've got bookmarks ready, I just need like, it'll be just packaging things up as I go. Photography's done. I got a friend of mine to check the website and gave them the password and just like to go in and have a browse around. They did find some broken links, some important ones as well. So that was a really good idea to get them to go in and have a look. I'll take the password off my new Shopify and probably show you it as well. And then I will 
put the listings live on Etsy just after that. Do it in that order. It's strange having two shops now, but I need to think like that because I think it's important to have both and worth it to have both. Hopefully, UK customers will go to the website and then I've got international for Etsy. I'm just, I'm so scared. I'm scared of the inventory syncing going wrong. I've signed up for a paid app for this to sync the inventory across Etsy and Shopify. And I'm also scared that I've got the shipping wrong because I'm doing shipping by weight now on Shopify. And I'm scared that's wrong just because like, I don't know if it's gonna work out okay. I hope it is. I trust technology and I don't at the same time. So I've done everything I can. If things go wrong, then things are gonna go wrong. But it's best to document these kind of things. It's been a while since I've done a video because I've been concentrating on the shop update. So I wanted to document these kind of things going on and prepping for the shop update stuff like that so yeah i'm gonna do some last checks now i think i've just set the shop update live i've got the live view on shopify as well so hopefully people will come on and i'll be able to see who's on the website and um, i've set the etsy listings live i've put some new products as featured oh my god we already have four visitors i wonder who they are we have two active carts. Two active carts. Let me show you. Oh my gosh. How exciting. I can see them here in the UK. Oh my god, I can see people across the world as well. Here. Oh my god, it's so exciting getting to see this instead of it just being Etsy and you can't see anything like this. Oh gosh. Hopefully people are having a browse. Let's see if I've got anything on Instagram. I've got people like in the reel I put up. So here are all the Etsy listings. These are old ones. The new ones are near the top. And I did a new banner as well. Um, with the free delivery on. And pointing to my website as well. And I've put the new featured items at the top. Oh my god. Hopefully they're all in the right categories as well. I'll have to check that. I've had my first order on Etsy from... Lavinia, thank you so much for being my first order, Lavinia. That's in the USA, so um, you have to shop on Etsy if you're not in the UK. Oh my god, she ordered quite a lot. The Rainbow Floral Feelings sticker sheet, the Mushroom Forest Notepad, the Dark Floral Feelings sticker sheet, the Mermaid Magic, Mermaid Magic, all the Mermaid Magic colours, all the Floral Feelings, and a Mystery Pack as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I just did a little dance about the room because my husband came in to see how things were going and a Shopify order came through while I was hugging him and I was like, yay! I'm so happy. Thank you so much, Lois, for being my first website order. And obviously, Lavinia was my first Etsy order. I haven't had so many orders in a while. I did get like three during the week, but like this many in one day. It's been such a long time. And I know there's a summer slump and things, but... Just so excited that I, I finally heard what the Shopify cha-ching sounded like as well. It was like a little baby one. It was like cha-ching. It was so good. I'm so happy. Hopefully more people are like coming online. Like it's Sunday evening. I wanted to do it on Sunday evening. It could have worked on Monday evening or something. But I thought I'll just get it out on Sunday evening. And people are sharing my reel as well. Which I'm so thankful for. Oh I'll have to say thank you. I'll have to say thank you to the so I now have one Shopify order and I do have three Etsy orders from during the week and I have three more so now I have six. I'm like looking at the Shopify app and seeing like how it looks and like how it works with the orders. Hopefully that went through to Royal Mail, I'm going to check that actually. Oh! Did you hear that? Did you hear? I don't know. I got another one! Oh I'm so happy! Order number two from Nicole. We have an order of a bookmark, an art print. We have a clear sticker, a clear skull sticker, and two sticker sheets. Yay, 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 yay. That's order number two. I love the little cha-ching of Shopify. It's so cute. There's four active carts, two checking out, and two purchased. It's a pity Etsy don't have like a live view, isn't it? I really need to figure out how to add international shipment to Shopify. That'll probably be the next thing. 
but I thought I would just start with the UK and go from there because I was already doing a lot for this update. So scary. And I'm gonna have a few orders to pack. I need to make a sales tracker as well. That's something I need to do. I've just turned the camera off and I've had two more cha-chings from Shopify. Like pretty much in a row, Catherine and Danielle. Oh my gosh, if you're watching this, let's have a look, let's have a look. Danielle ordered mainly sticker sheets, but also the mushroom notepad bundle and an art print as well. And Catherine ordered, uh, wow, three art prints. Wow. A skull sticker, a sunflower skull sticker, so a sunflower and a plant one, and two mushroom notepads. Two. Oh God, I love looking at what everyone's ordering. It's so exciting. So four orders on Shopify and four, no, three orders on Etsy. <gasps> Okay, I'm gonna finish doing some of the packaging and then I'm gonna call it a night for tonight and um, start packing orders tomorrow. So I'll check in with you then. Bye. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a lot of friends, fill up the car to live best because we wanna. Okay, I finally did a new August sales tracker and I used the background of my thank you card for it and we're already up to 22 orders. I'm so happy and I used my wash tip to put it up. But I haven't actually done a sales tracker since May. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up at the time of our lives. The night is in young. Don't need anybody else. camera just resting on the desk um i'm actually gonna get on with the doing some reels now i i did just want to say that the the shop update went really well like it went really really well i got 20 orders um and i had a few from the week before that i needed to pack as well so i've had like 23 to pack i think um and even though i am so so grateful for them like so grateful i had a feeling i'd probably get about 20 I didn't do as well as my last shop update, um, which is fine. I, I, I mainly wanted to tell you guys because I think it's important to note that the, the numbers on social media don't really mean that much. Um, my Instagram, which is where the majority of my customers come from, some come from Facebook, uh, maybe some come from YouTube. Let me know if you found me on YouTube first. My phone's pinging away, sorry. <laughs> the numbers, uh, since my last update, I think my Instagram followers have tripled easy. I'm sure I had about a thousand followers on my last shop update and I've got about 3,200 followers at the time of filming this video. And that does not translate to sales. It, it does, it just doesn't. So don't, if you're thinking about that or thinking that that matters for other people, it's not always the case. I don't know. I think there's an element of luck, consistency, just keeping it going and also there's other elements completely outside of your control like my husband was telling me your products are lovely I've had customers telling me my products are lovely which I'm really happy about and um, but there's elements like the cost of living has increased a lot especially this year so people aren't spending as much it's also the summer so a lot of people aren't on their phones as much it's 
it's hot out, you know, so pe I, all my friends at the moment are away on holiday. So how many people are actually on holiday? They're not on their phones, they're not shopping, they're perhaps saving for later in the year. I find when autumn winter comes round, which autumn is my absolute favourite time of the year, autumn winter is when people start to shop more, they start to buy gifts, um, treats for themselves, little Christmassy things. The summer is really not the best time to launch an update, especially one this big, so I don't think I'd launch a massive update in summer again, but I really wanted to get my new website done in summer because I wanted to get it done during the quiet season so that it was all sorted ready for the end of the year when shoppers start looking again and things start picking up so I'm so glad I got the website done I'm so glad I got the rebranding done that was a real summer project and it's complete I can draw a line under it I shouldn't have done such a big update at the same time but you learn I'm gonna do a smaller update for autumn because I'm already behind schedule for that now I'd really like to get something out maybe late September early October I'm not sure but it's going to be a much smaller update I would really like to get some crochet toys out but I really need to do some research on that and how to package them up and things so uh, one thing I will say um, if you've been around for a long time you'll know about the the pumpkin patch sticker sheet I had out last year now that has been out of stock for way over six months seven months and it was still selling months after Halloween so I'm going to be bringing back the pumpkin patch sticker sheet and I'm going to be doing uh, I'm going to be seeing how I go with getting designs done um because I've got other things in mind like I wanted to get my stock put on fair now that I've got a good amount of stock I've been waiting to put it on fair until I had enough or what I felt like was enough I want to start a newsletter as well so I need to do some research so at the moment I'm just kind of doing those focusing on marketing all these lovely new products that I've managed to make I don't know how I managed to do it the update was late it's done now and I've decided to launch in celebration of the launch I'm gonna give away a mystery bundle of some of the new products and on it's only available to enter on YouTube on this video all you have to do is subscribe to the Swirly Nicks channel, like this video and leave a comment and I want you to comment an idea, your what you would like to see in one of my sticker sheet themes because I would love to know what is of interest to you guys and if you see similar things that would be interesting as well. So let me know what you would like to see on a sticker sheet theme and you never know, it might come to life and then you'll be entered into the giveaway so it'll be drawn one week after the video has been uploaded. I'll leave a comment on that person's comment of who's won and I will also direct message them through YouTube. Definitely get your entries in. I would love it if you shared my video on your social media. I, it's been a while since I've posted one just due to sheer workload because I do also have a day job as well. So I, something had to fall for a bit and it was YouTube so I'd really love it if you left any sort of engagement it would be appreciated and I, i'm going to give away the stationary bundle which i'll also talk about on instagram but you can only enter through this youtube video and then that will be closed after a week so if you're watching this video later please don't enter it's it's closed it's gone it will be closing on the 20th of august sunday the 20th of august 2023 depending on when you're watching this this giveaway will close Thank you so much if you've watched this far. I appreciate it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye swirlies.